okay now we are going to install Joomla 2.5 how do we install Joomla 2.5 you download Joomla 2.5 from the Joomla website I've already downloaded it Joomla.org then you copy it but before you copy it's good to extract let's extract it because it is a zip file so go to extract and extract it let's finish extracting here is it so we are going to copy for each website we are designing we are first thing to do is to copy this joomla copy it take it to the folder in which XAM was installed in this case our folder we installed XAM into our drive C so you open XAM you see a folder called htdoc hypertext documents this is your local server you're now going to paste it here ctrl p or paste So see the folder here, we are going to rename it, right click and rename to the name of the site we are going to design. So we are, we are going to call it say site 1, we are designing the first site, site 1. So for each site you design, you copy Joomla to your HD docs. You design the first site, site 1, the second site, site 2. For each site you design, you copy the, it and paste it and call it the name of the site you are designing. The way you have done that, you go to the front end, this your server if it's working local host okay local host is working the noun to install joomla you have to go to local host slash the name of your site site one that's site one for the first site you're designing if you're designing another site you copy it and call it site two you go to local host slash site two so this is the first website you are designing we, we call it site one or any name you want to call it my site then enter to open the Joomla installation page this is the Joomla installer Joomla has a web-based installation so the first thing to do is to select the language English click on next it's going to conduct a pre-installation check to see if your system is compatible with Joomla 2.5 and everything is showing yes 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 that means it's compatible then click on next You see the agreement most people don't read agreements so just scroll down to the end click on next now this is the database configuration we are going to create a database for each joomla site you design you have to create a, a database every joomla site you design you have to create a database so we go to open a new tab type local host remember exam comes with php and my sql my sql is for database so type PHP my admin. PHP my admin enables you to create and manage your database. So with the PHP my admin, we are going to create a database. So go to databases. It will list all the database. Then you are going to create a new one. Let's call it site one. You can call it any name. Site one. Database site one has been created. Now you go to the front end local host name is local host that is the always local host then by default the username is root by default password leave it blank then database name enter the name of the database you just created site one remember every joomla site each joomla site you're designing you must create a database for it so call it site one then click on next it's installing I'm trying to access the database It'll take about 10 seconds click on next skip it now enter the name of the site you're designing Call it my site. That's the name of the site. 
enter your email address If you have any question about this tutorial, this is the email address you can reach me. Enter your username, admin, create a password. This is the password that you are going to use to access your backend. Remember I said the backend can only be accessed by the owner of the sites. That's where you design your sites. So for you to be able to access the backend, you need a username and password. So you create it here. The next thing is sample data. If you want to install sample that that i can click but we want to design our website from scratch so we don't want joomla to install any sample data to click on next it's installing congratulations joomla is now installed please remember to completely remove the installation folder so click on remove installation folder it will automatically remove the installation folder for you so we can close our php admin and joomla asks the front end and the back end this is the front end so that people can see open a new tab that's look out if you now go to look at o slash my sites it takes you to the front end of joomla then to go to the back end tap. let's close the installer back end is local os slash your sites slash administrator now can you see that for the user for the back end you cannot access the back end this is the End that only you can see we are the only one that can enter the back end you need a username and password while the front end is your sites so any change you make in the back end let me log into my own remember the username and password we created just now click on login so this is the joomla back end and this is the front end you can see it's an empty site it's an empty site we are going to design it from here then this is the back end you have many options for designing your sites we have users, menu, contents, components, extensions, and this is the control panel, your back end. So that's simple. For any Joomla that you want to install, it is simple. Download Joomla, copy it, extract it, take it to your HTTP docs folder. Your HTTP docs folder, paste it and rename it to the name of the folder you want, the name of the site you're designing, site 1, site 2, or site 3. Then install it in the process of installing for each site you install you must go to php my admin look at us slash php my admin and create a database for the site so it's simple as simple as that in less than two minutes your joomla is up and re ready to go